Good day, family. Welcome to day 12 of our love revolution. We thank the Lord for His goodness and His mercy and um, for how He's taking us on this journey of fearless living, being immersed in His love so we can do great things that He's called us onto. I'll be continuing my journey on some antidotes to deal with fear. And today I want to share with Christ consciousness, the awareness that Christ is with me. That's a very, very powerful force. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And what's the big love about this? Romans chapter 6 says that when Christ was dying, he died with us. When we were buried, we were buried with him. We resurrected together with him unto a new life. Paul says, wrap it up in Galatians 2, 20, says that I have been crucified with Christ, and yet I'm living in the new life I live. I live according to the power of the Holy Ghost that is at work inside of me. So there is a way to live a new life, and that new life is a life living a consciousness that God is with me. Now what's the big deal? Check how David used this factor. The Israelites were, battled, were battling with the Philistines. For 40 days, they have been threatened by Goliath. And nobody could remember that God had promised that any time they go to war, he was going to be with them. Now David comes to the scene and David starts beginning to speak toe to toe to Goliath and tell him that I'm going to cut off your head. I mean, look at that boldness. What, where did this guy get from? And then he says something. He said that there was, there was a day I fought the lion and there was a day I fought the bear. And the God who gave me power over the bear and the lion, that same God. What was David saying? He was aware of the presence of God with him. And he knows that if God is with me and if God is for me, nothing can challenge me. And I want to challenge you, child of God. You might be, you might be going through issues in your life, in your family. And then the enemy is magnifying you, making you think that it's not possible. I came here to challenge you today that just remember that you are not alone. God is with you. God sent the apostles, 120 weak people. But his presence was with them. And in a spirit of few years, they turned their world upside down. That's how come you and I have also been delivered by this. And so don't discount the power of the presence of God going with you. Go in that conscience and that awareness. David ran boldly. Instead of running away from the enemy, he ran to the enemy. He slew, he slew the enemy, took the enemy's weapon and cut it off. You see, what you are afraid of, God has given you success over that thing. Only you have to do is go with God and allow God to manifest himself in your life. I'm so excited because I see people rising up onto their, onto their potential and fulfilling their purpose because they walk in that awareness. God is with me. There is no way I've been destined for failure. What's going to be your action plan for this week? For this, for this message, action plan is so simple. Now, every assignment that you have that you've been, you've been so burdened, you've been burdened because you're carrying it alone. The Lord says, lay it upon me. Take upon me my yoke. Take upon me my work, my assignment. So give yours unto him and take his. Walk with him. Let him be the shepherd to lead you step by step. And watch what he's going to do in your life. Father, I thank you that whatever burdens that we carry, whatever assignment you're giving to us, you never intended for us to do it again, alone. You are here to help us. We've struggled and we are stuck. But today we'll make the conscious effort to turn the ball to you. That you take it and make it happen. And we'll remember always to give you the glory and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and share this with somebody else. I'll catch you again tomorrow.